Council of British Archaeology. Um, we are very pleased to be in partnership with uh, CIFA and Archaeology Scotland in running this event today. And clearly it's a topic that's of particular concern to CBA uh, and has been very much over the entire course of our history. Um, for those of you that don't know, the CBA was created in 1944 and came out of a groundswell of, of support through archaeological societies across the UK. Um, and what they wanted was a, a national voice, a national champion to speak to government, but also to coordinate the sector and act as a forum for debate. Um, and it's very clear that we're following in that tradition, um, and today is clearly part of that, uh, uh, what we've been doing over that long period of time. Um, those of you that are engaged in, in community archaeology in, in some sense or another will know that it's an area that the CBA has put a lot of work into in the last few years, particularly with support from the Headley Trust, which we're extremely grateful for. I'm sure most of you will have come across Susie Thomas's report um, on behalf of CBA published in 2010, which was a very comprehensive look at community archaeology <coughs> right across the UK at that time, um, and was able to identify a whole range of groups that were involved in archaeology in all sorts of different ways, um, and look at some of the issues that they face, some of the needs they have, in particular in relation to training. And I think a lot of the questions that we're going to be looking at today and thinking a little bit about were stimulated and, and came out of that piece of research, which we want to try and update um, in the near future, I think, because things have moved on to some degree. Um, there's no doubt that the, the mood of the time, as it were, is one which uh, encourages collaboration. Uh, partnership working is a phrase that you hear all the time these days, partly, of course, because each individual organisation is pressed. Um, the, we are expecting further uh, public sector cuts to come, the only way that we can really see to um, get over some of these issues is to work better together um, and improve the way that we collaborate. And that's again part of the thinking behind the sort of programme that you can see today, is not just to show that the three organisations who are hosting this event are working closely together, but that we want to work closely with everybody in the sector, both those that are lucky enough to be paid to do archaeology and those that uh, love doing it for their own uh, interest. All of us have to come together at the present time um, to really uh, appreciate, enjoy and take forward um, our archaeological heritage. And what we really want to focus on today in the discussion is how we, as majority of us no doubt in this room as practitioners, can work with um, everybody who has an interest in archaeology. The CBA's motto is uh, archaeology for all. We want everybody to collaborate together um, and I'm sure there are lots of uh, ingenious solutions and uh, ideas in the room to how we can do that better. And that's what we're keen to try and tease out um, in the discussion sessions that we're going to have. So this first block um, that, that I'm chairing, we're going to have two papers, um, one from uh, Scotland, one from Wales, looking at uh, involving people in, in coastal survey and coastal archaeology. And then the discussion that will follow that um, will focus around some of the themes about how we can work together, um, how we can find um, ingenious funding solutions to take that forward, whether there are training issues and qualifications issues that we perhaps need to address to make sure that we're all working to a really high standard. So those are the, some of the topics that you'll be discussing on your tables. But first of all, just to get, the, uh, get you thinking um, and to start the day off, we're going to have two relatively short papers, hopefully. Um, <laughs> and uh, first of all, I'll introduce uh, Ellie from uh, SCAPE in Scotland. She's going to talk about the work that they're doing all around the coastline of Scotland.